Hey guys, welcome back to another video from NorCal RC Experience. Uh, here's the kit that I showed in my last video, the G-Made Komodo Double Cab GSO-2F. Um, basically complete, it's ready to go. Uh, always going to keep modding it. So uh, first off, thought I'd show the outside of it. Uh, these are some Hyrax, Proline Hyrax tires, so <clears throat> not the ones that come in the kit. As you saw before, the ones that come in the kit are a little bit smaller. Um, so, I just thought I would show off. I just did a relatively simple paint job. Um, I wanted to make it look good, but um, not do anything too crazy. Make it look like a real truck. Um, I put the the tail light buckets in because I am going to order the light kit at least for the the basic light kit. Here's a look at the suspension underneath. It's a roof rack for all the scale parts. That's about as much scale as I'm going to do. Um, those just barely fit in there, but man, I think they look a lot better than the stock tires. Just due to the larger diameter. Here's the front, there's the light buckets once again. I'm probably gonna leave the stickers that they give you to put on the outside off and just do the light uh, buckets. There's the front of it. I think it's a really good looking kit. Um, went together nicely. Um, I would like to get the light bar working um, I think these old school KC lights are cool but at the same time when you have a light bar you have one spot for the wire to come out these they come out of every light uh, bucket out of the back so if if I can't figure out a way to make that look clean I'm not gonna have wires just flopping all over the roof of this thing probably won't put any of these like sand ladders or boxes and shovels and stuff on the top of it this, how it looks right now is enough scale for me. Um, got the mirrors on there. So yeah, that's basically what it looks like. Springs seem to be a little bit stiff, but I just use the stock shock oil as well, so we'll have to dial that in. Let's get the body off. Um, I would like to change the front bumper, but the way the body pins index into the bumper um, makes it kind of nice to have the stock bumper. And then in the back, the pins are actually forward, um, which is definitely not the easiest thing to take off. But it is nice to have the hidden there, are the pins, and they slide into those holes. Kind of like a, a normal bumper, but except the bumper is attached to the body. As you can see, it comes off with the body. You can see the, the taillight buckets in there. All right, so here's the inside of the truck. Um, I went with the Castle Sidewinder 4 uh, ESC because that's what um, on the Holmes Hobby website they said works well with the. Revolver 1800 KV 540 can motor. Um, thing rips. That's crazy torque, but it's nice and light. Sounds amazing. Got the 2273 Savox servo, I think. And there you go. SB 2273. Um, for the transmission servo. I just used a ready to run servo that I had that is actually a pretty nice servo and it seems to work fine. Um, there it is, that's first gear back and then forward is second gear. Um, internals all metal gears. Um, the only piece of plastic in there is the shift fork that moves it, moves the from first to second gear is plastic so inevitably that will probably fail first. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. I've never had a, uh, well that's not true, my TRX 6 is 2 speed, but definitely a little bit different transmission style. Um, so there's that. Um, went together pretty nice. No real issues. 
here's this is where the receiver and everything is inside this box um, but yeah basically four a link in the rear three in the front as you can see that there's the underside I was thinking about doing the stainless steel links up front to get a little bit more weight and there you can see where the body posts come through right there um, I am going to do the um, scalar fab sliders and they um, the way they attach right here it's not going to work so I'll probably remove these and then attach all my stuff to the uh, the skid plates or whatever they call them that come on that you can get with the sliders they're real nice add a little bit more weight down low there's the rear it's got the super it's got these super turned up pumpkins kind of strange but they say it's for more strength I don't, I don't know there's that um, but yeah other than that kit came together nicely no real complaints they give you a lot of extra screws and a lot of extra uh, parts tree parts I guess for different setups and maybe just some extras um, most of it's labeled pretty well some of the parts are not necessarily like in on the side of the page where it says okay you need one of these one of these one of these sometimes they don't label everything so you just have to look at the picture like in here there's like a million eclipse and if you miss one it's a problem I definitely had to go back and f back a couple times to you know make sure the transmission was exactly how it's supposed to be because I didn't want to take that out. It doesn't look like a lot of fun to have to work on that too much. Um, but other than that, it is super light. So that's why um, I'm going to do, like I said, a couple of uh, upgrades lower. I got these uh, brass wheel weights for these uh, Proline. I mean, I can't remember what. I think they're maybe. No, I don't know. I can't remember what they are but uh these are actually discontinued so i was only able to get one set i'm gonna try to get a, a second set because the way this thing is how light this is and the weight of the body with a little bit of scale parts uh it will do well with some brass and um it'll make these rims actually fit better on here to get some brass hexes because um there's not enough threads to tighten them down all the way with these rims i found out uh so yeah this uh, is the first Outrunner motor I've ever run. It runs like a madman. It has crazy torque. It's awesome at low speed. So, um, any questions, hit me up in the comments. And uh, subscribe and like as usual. And I'll be showing some upgrade videos and hopefully some running videos soon. Thank you.